So, have you been watching Grease lately? Everybody can use a little grease. But do you know why? Greases and lubricants protect against wear. Wear can be a big problem in industrial settings and applications, and surely even in your own home. Machines, equipment, your components, they all get worn out after a while. Just think of door hinges, screw joints, gear wheels, your good old tools, or even your bike chain. In industrial applications, wear and tear can cause enormous material damage and production losses. But how does wear even happen in the first place? Wear occurs when two components keep moving against each other over time and thus creating friction. Over time, the surfaces wear off and cause material loss. Chemical and thermal stresses can also cause wear. So what can you do about that? Stop riding your bike or using your tools? Surely not an option. For a lazy day on the couch, you're gonna have to come up with a better excuse. In order to prevent wear and tear, you need to lubricate everything that's near and dear to you if you want it to last a long time. It's best to do it before use and every now and then in between, because even lubricants wear off over time. Lubricating means creating a separating layer between two services so that there is no direct contact. Lubricants support the transfer of forces. They ensure sufficient heat transfer or cooling. They absorb vibrations, seal systems, and even protect against corrosion. They can be divided into lubricating oils, lubricating greases, lubricating pastes, and dry lubricants. And now you're probably asking yourself again, Patrick, how do I find my perfect match? In general, choosing the right lubricant depends on the design, operating principles, or the areas of use of a particular device or machine. Lubricating oils, or multifunctional oils, have a very high base oil content. The advantage of lubricating oil is their very thin lubricating layer. Due to their low viscosity, they are very suitable for areas in machines which are difficult to reach. They also have a cooling effect and loosen dirt. They can easily withstand high rotational speeds on bearings, gears or chains. Here are a few examples. Our W44T multi-spray is perfect for outdoor applications. For example, on your garden gate mechanism. To keep your bike chain running smoothly, it's best to use our bike chain oil, which is available in our bike care set. As a lubricant and sliding agent for sensitive areas, our silicone fluid is the perfect choice. Thanks to its food grade quality and the NSF certificate, it's ideal for use in your kitchen. Our silicone grease, in contrast, is not suitable for high rotational speeds. However, it is perfect for your drinking water applications, for example, in a ball valve in your pipe connections. The ball valve is only exposed to a little movement. However, it needs good sealing against water and dirt, which the grease can provide perfectly. A lubricating oil, for example, would be washed off. Lubricating greases have a higher viscosity compared to lubricating oils, and they don't drip which makes them adhere better to the friction points. Lubricating greases also have a particularly high pressure stability. They are used whenever high forces act on surfaces at low speeds. This is the case, for example, on joints, levers, sliding guides, spindles, shafts, gears, or rolling or plain bearings. A drive shaft, for example, can be found on a ship's propeller. This turns slowly, however, due to the propeller pressure, it needs to withstand high forces. To ensure the longevity of the propeller shaft, our ALW high performance grease would be a great choice. Lubricating greases also have a high base oil content. Moreover, they contain thickeners and additives. Assembly pastes, in contrast, have an extremely high solid content, usually between 50 and 60%. This makes them perfectly suitable for high temperature applications, high pressure loads, or even harsh environment and ambient conditions. They protect against oxidation, corrosion, fretting corrosion, stick slip effects, or cold welding. Assembly pastes are used where little to no movement, but high forces occur. That is why they're the ideal lubricant for screw joints or pressing in pins or bolts. Always use an assembly paste when you are tightening screws that you want to be able to loosen again. Which is the case, for example, with your brakes on the car. If you use our copper paste, the screws can be tightened and then also loosened at any time. The paste also copes very well with the high temperature stresses. 
In addition, there are also dry lubricants. They can be divided into powdery solid lubricants, wax-like sliding films, and anti-friction coatings containing solids. Dry lubricants also form a very thin layer. They have a high pressure resistance and prevent the adhesion of dirt. Moreover, they prevent stick slip effects, facilitate assembly and disassembly, help prevent corrosion, and also reduce machine noises. One example is our anti-friction spray MOS2. MOS2 is a soft mineral which is contained within the lubricant, ensuring its great or high level of pressure resistance. The spray can be used on open sliding surfaces or where oil or grease lubrication is not permissible or desirable. This can be the case on sliding rails or conveyor belts. As you can see, lubrication is indispensable in everyday life, but also in industrial applications. The use of lubricants maintains materials and ensures a long lifetime of machines, equipment and components. I hope our tips will help you keep everything running smoothly. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. See you soon and stick at it.